जय हिंद टू ऑल माय नेम इज दिव्या शर्मा नाउ टुडेज वीडियो लेक्चर इज ऑन एंटीना पैरामीटर्स रेडिएशन इंटेंसिटी गेन इफेक्टिव अपर्चर एरिया सो फंडामेंटल पैरामीटर्स ऑफ एंटीना रेडिएशन पैटर्न बीम विट डायरेक्टिविटी एंड रेजोल्यूशन बीम एरिया रेडिएशन इंटेंसिटी गेन इफेक्टिव अपर्चर एरिया एंटीना टेम्परेचर एंड एंटीना इम्पिडेंस नाउ टूडे वी विल कवर फंडामेंटल पैरामीटर ऑफ एंटीना दैट इज रेडिएशन इंटेंसिटी गेन इफेक्टिव अपर्चर एरिया नाउ फर्स्ट विल स्टार्ट विद दिस रेडिएशन इंटेंसिटी नाउ रेडिएशन इंटेंसिटी इज वॉट फर्स्ट इट इज डिफाइंड एज पावर रेडिएटेड फ्रॉम एन एंटीना पर यूनिट सॉलिड एंगल सॉलिड एंगल इज फोर पाई ऑफ अ स्पेयर सो रेडिएशन इंटेंसिटी इज डिफाइंड एज पावर रेडिएटेड फ्रॉम एन एंटीना पर यूनिट सोलिड एंगल एंड इट इज इट्स यूनिट्स आर वाट्स पर स्टेरेडियर और पर स्क्वायर डिग्री एंड इट इज अ फार फील्ड पैरामीटर ऑल्सो हाउ यू कैन फाइंड आउट दिस इज रेडिएशन इंटेंसिटी इज डिनोटेड बाई यू दैट इज इक्वल टू आर स्क्वायर डब्ल्यू रेडियन so it is what it is multiplying the radiation density radiation density is represented by w r a d this is radiation density so u is equal to r square w radian this is radiation density and by the square of the distance this is the distance uh, that is represented by r so u is equal to r square w radian now the total power can be obtained by integrating the radiation intensity of the solid angle that is of 4 pi now power radiation is equal to what power radiated is equal to close line close integral u u is your radiation intensity d ohm this is all, this is a beam area now integrate it with respect to theta and phi as already we are discuss it was discussed in the previous lecture that e we have to consider heat uh, we have to consider here coordinates spherical coordinates and spherical coordinates are representing r in form of r theta phi so here write down d ohm is equal to sin theta d theta d phi now integrated with respect to theta theta 0 to pi and d phi 0 to 2 pi now here d ohm is the element of solid angle that is represented as sin theta d theta d phi now radiation intensity of an isotropic source isotropic source means radiation in all direction is same so find out radiation intensity for an isotropic source u is equal to p radian upon 4 pi so this is the radiation intensity for isotropic source now beam efficiency so total beam is represented as ohm a so total beam consists of main beam area main beam area is represented by ohm m plus the minor lobe area so total beam area is means b to uh, main beam area plus minor lobe area so it is represented as this is your beam area total beam area is represented as ohm a and main beam area is represented as ohm m capital m and this is your minor lobe area that is represented as ohm m small m right so this is total beam area now ratio of main beam area to the beam area is known as beam efficiency and beam efficiency is represented as epsilon m so epsilon m is equal to ohm m capital m upon ohm a it means what ohm m is equal to what ohm m is equal to main beam area so ohm m is main beam area and ohm a is equal to total beam area so this is total beam area so if you want to find out beam efficiency that is main beam area upon total beam area and if both units are same so it is dimensionless so this is the way how you can find out beam efficiency and it is it depends on beam main beam area and a is your total beam area now the next parameter is directivity directivity of an antenna is defined as the ratio of radiation intensity 
रेडिएशन इंटेंसिटी इन गिवन डायरेक्शन फ्रॉम द एंटीना टू द रेडिएशन इंटेंसिटी मीन्स एवरेज रेडिएशन इंटेंसिटी सो Given in a given direction, you have to represent radiation intensity is represented by U and average radiation intensity is represented by U naught. So and D is represented as directivity. So directivity is equal to U upon U naught means total power radiated by the antenna divided by four pi. Now here put the value of U naught. Here u naught is equal to what? U naught is equal to p radian upon four pi. It is already discussed in the previous slides, means p previous video lecture that u naught is equal to p radian upon four pi. Now d is equal to what? D is equal to u upon u naught. So put the value of u naught, u upon p radian into four pi. So this is your directivity four pi u upon p radian. Now directivity of an antenna is equal to the ratio of the maximum power density. Maximum power density is represented by p in bracket theta comma phi max. So maximum power density is represented as p max, and its coordinates are theta and phi divided by p average. And p average is also With coordinates theta and phi, so directivity is equal to what p theta comma phi means p max upon p average that is known as directivity. If we want to represent it in form of power, now directivity is all is a dimension uh, dimensionless ratio that is greater than or equal to one. Now power average. If you want to find out average power density of a over a sphere. so over a sphere you can find out average power density means p theta comma phi p average you can find out 1 upon 4 pi in integration p theta comma phi and these are your d ohm so write down here sin theta d theta d phi this is your power now represent it integrate it in form of theta and phi so theta is equal to what 0 to pi and phi is equal to 0 to 2 pi when you are considering a case of sphere then you have to take limits theta for 0 to pi and phi to 0 to 2 pi now put all these values and you can find out 1 upon 4 pi in integration p theta phi this is your do and and its units are watt per steradian so you can you can put the value of theta and phi and you can find out p theta phi average p average power in form of theta and phi now this is directivity is equal to p max upon p average so p average is all uh, already uh, discussed in the previous slide that p average is equal to 1 upon 4 pi 4 pi integration p theta phi d ohm so put this value p average in this formula d is equal to p max upon p average now here maximum value will always be constant take inside you. if you have a maximum value then you can take as a uh, you can consider as a constant and take inside this integration so you can take p theta comma phi max divided by this uh, you can divide p theta comma phi max in numerator and denominator and you will get this value right now here p theta comma phi upon p theta comma phi max means this is normal power this is maximum power so if it is divided by this then you can write down it normalized power because you all know normalized power is equal to what p upon p max so here you can consider this is equal to what this is normalized power and it is represented as p n coordinates are theta and phi now put this value here so you will get here d directivity is equal to 4 pi in integration normalized power and you have coordinate theta and phi and d ohm now here this is what this is ohm a so directivity is equal to 4 pi upon ohm a and directivity this is your beam area so there is a there is a uh, when you have beam area it is a, if it is given so directivity is inversely proportional to beam area right now if 
your directivity is larger then if your beam area is smaller then directivity is larger if beam area is larger then directivity is smaller because directivity is inversely proportional to beam area right let it be you are considering your ohm a means beam area is equal to what 2 pi so directivity is equal to 2 you can find out in db 3.01 or uh, decibels over isotropic now for an idealized isotropic antenna if you are considering idealized isotropic antenna has the lowest possible directivity d is equal to 1 all actual antennas have directivities greater than 1 d is greater than 1 right now if you are considering simple short dipole have beam area a is equal to 2.67 pi steradian so directivity is equal to what 1.5 or you can find out in form of db that is equal to 1.76 you can put all these values in this formula and you can find out directivity okay now next is gain so gain of an antenna if you have a given direction then you can define it as the ratio of the intensity in a given direction to the radiation intensity that would be obtained if the power accepted by the antenna were radiately radiated isotropically now radiation intensity corresponding to the isotropic radiated power is equal to what is equal to power accepted means power input power by the antenna divided by 4 pi now uh, gain of an antenna without involving antenna efficiency is defined as the ratio of the maximum radiation intensity in a given direction to the maximum radiation intensity from a reference antenna let it be you have isotropic region so this is your let it be this is your reference antenna and this is your test antenna and if it is isotropic then you have radiation in all direction so you can find out gain for that antenna now the extent to which a practical and and this is not practically possible but we are considering here practical antenna means uh, idealistic condition so you can con consider as an isotropic antenna right now the extent to which a practical antenna concentrates its radiated energy in a given direction in comparison to the reference antenna that is known as directivity directive gain and directive gain of an antenna is also defined as the ratio of the intensity in a given direction at a given distance to the radiation intensity uh, at the same means uh, that would be radiated at the same distance for an isotropic antenna now power gain power gain is defined as the ratio of the radiation intensity in that direction to the average total input power so gain is equal to what gain is equal to 4 pi radiation intensity upon total power accepted now that is uh, that is represented as radiation intensity is represented as u and its polar coordinates are theta and phi so you can represent it u in bracket theta comma phi and input power is defined as represent as p in so gain is equal to what gain is equal to 4 pi u theta comma phi upon input power that is represented as p in and it is dimensionless now relative gain relative gain is defined as ratio of the power gain in a given direction to the power gain for an referenced antenna let it be you have two antennas so gain is equal to what 4 pi u radiation intensity upon p in lossless isotropic if you are considering isotropic antenna then you can represent here p in for isotropic source now here the ratio of the gain to the directivity is the antenna efficiency factor g is equal to kd okay now gain can be measured by comparing the maximum power density of the antenna under antenna under test with reference antenna is known as gain for a such as short dipole now gain is equal to what gain is equal to p max for uh, this uh, antenna under test and upon reference antenna into gain reference antenna so this is the formula for when you have given values of p max for uh, for this uh, antenna under test and if you have power for the reference antenna and you have given the value of gain for reference antenna then you can find out overall gain so if half power bandwidth of an antenna 
are known then you can find out directivity is equal to 41253 degree upon theta phi for half power so this is also the formula uh, by this formula also you can find out the directivity so theta hp is what this is half power beam width uh, in one principal plane and phi is another principal plane now antenna efficiency antenna efficiency is defined as the ratio of the power radiated to the total power input supplied to the antenna so antenna efficiency is power radiated upon total input power and power radiated is represented as wr and total input power is represented as wt and wt is equal to what wt is equal to wr plus wn so wr is what wr is pa radiated power and w1 is ohmic loss so if the current is flowing in the antenna that is represented as is i so if you want to find out efficiency efficiency is equal to radi total uh, power radiated upon total input power so here if you want to find out efficiency in form of r means radiation radiation resistance or ohmic lo uh, loss resistance so efficiency is equal to what radiation resistance upon total radiation and total radiation is what rt it you can represent it by rt and rt is equal to rr plus rl so rl is radiation resistance and rl is ohmic loss resistance so this is also the formula how we can find out efficiency for an antenna when you have given res radiation resistance and ohmic loss resistance now next topic is effective antenna aperture it is represented as or denoted as ae okay now a transmitting antenna transmit em waves and a receiving antenna receives a fraction of the same let us consider here a pointing vector or power density of the plane is represented as s watts per square meter and the area or physical aperture of the horn is denoted by ap square meters if the horn exact all the power extracts all the power from the wave over its entire physical aperture then total power p absorbed from the wave is equal to p is equal to e square upon z ap and e square z means is is equal to s and s is your power density of the plane wave so this is the formula for power in form of aperture area uh, physical aperture this is your physical aperture so power is here is this is the power absorbed from the wave p is equal to e square upon z ap and e square z is represented by s in into ap so here this is your antenna here these are your side walls this is ap ap is your physical aperture of this antenna here is the direction of electric field these are your side walls so this is the structure of antenna and how you can represent its direction direction of propagation of planes are in this direction for this antenna now here you have to derive the relation in between effective aperture area and directivity so let us consider here aperture efficiency is equal to what ae upon ap this is your effective aperture area and this is your physical aperture and it is dimensionless so by this formula also you can find out aperture efficiency now let us consider antenna with effective aperture ae which radiates all of its power in a conical pattern of beam area ohm a let us consider a uniform electric field that is denoted by ea over the aperture the we have to find out here radiated power for a uniform electric field that is represented as ae so power is equal to what power is equal to ae e a square upon z not ae and power is represented its units in watt now z is what z is intrinsic impedance of the medium and here assuming now this is Uh, this is power radiated for uniform field ea that is denoted by er so when you are considering uniform electric field er so power is equal to what p is equal to er square upon z not into r square ohm a 
ओके नाउ ई आर इज वॉट ई आर इज इक्वल टू ई ए ए अपॉन आर लैमडा नाउ पुट दिस ई आर इन दिस इक्वेशन सो यू कैन पुट दिस वैल्यू पी इज इक्वल टू ई आर स्क्वायर अपॉन जेड नॉट आर स्क्वायर ओम ए सो पुट हेयर दी वैल्यू ऑफ ई आर एंड ई आर इज इक्वल टू वॉट ई आर इज इक्वल टू ई ए ए अपॉन आर लैमडा ओके सो पुट दिस वैल्यू हेयर ई आर सो पी इज इक्वल टू वॉट ई ए स्क्वायर ए अपॉन आर स्क्वायर लैमडा स्क्वायर जेड नॉट आर स्क्वायर ओम ए ओके सो दिस इज पावर पी इज इक्वल टू ई ए स्क्वायर अपॉन जेड नॉट ए इन फॉर्म ऑफ ई आर हेयर Uh, when you will put the value of e r in this equation so you get power p is equal to e a square a e r square om a r square lambda square z not now equate this equation and this equation equation 1 and 2 then you will get the value lambda square is equal to a e om a so equate it so e square e square cancel out z not z not cancel out and here r square r square cancel out now here you will get here lambda square is equal to a e ohm a as you all know that d is equal to 4 pi ohm a so find out here ohm a is equal to what ohm a is equal to lambda square upon a e so this is your third equation put this equation third in this equation directivity is equal to 4 pi ohm a so d is equal to 4 pi upon lambda square a e so this is directivity d is equal to 4 pi a e upon lambda square so from this relation we can find out that directivity is directly proportional to a e means aperture area so if we will increase the aperture area then directivity will increase so this is the relation in between directivity and aperture area thank you so next other parameters we will discuss in the next video lecture thank you